the eyes of the world have been on the PSG locker room over the course of the last few weeks, and not entirely because of their good performances. Kylian Mbappe and Neymar have been at odds, with Lionel Messi openly backing Ney during this whole process. The feud in the PSG locker room has reached a level of uncomfortable that no one could have ever imagined, even if they are still undefeated. This has Neymar more motivated than ever before, just like Kylian, he wants to win his first Ballon d'Or at all costs. So that is the focus for both of them for the following year and it looks like it will come down to these two when that time comes. Of course, we are talking about next year's edition because this year has a French striker's name on it. No, not Mbappe, the real good one. We're talking about Karim Benzema who had an incredible season with Real Madrid basically winning them La Liga and the Champions League trophies with incredible performances and goals. Let's be completely honest though, Neymar combines pretty much everything, speed, dribbling, passing, assisting, finishing, and physical ability. This is absolutely the whole package. The forward is one of the most talented players of his generation, an icon for his native Brazil, and at one point the most expensive player in football history, before Kylian Mbappe's new deal. Now, the reason Donatello landed such a juicy deal is because he is that damn good as well. He is fast, strong, scores a ton, and has youth on his side. Not to mention that he has a powerful team around him at the club and international level as well. The only thing that plays against him is the fact that Lionel Messi wants to help Neymar win the Ballon d'Or. So on the field, any chance Messi has to assist Ney, best believe he will do just that. To be fair, Mbappe has pushed him and has made comments that have angered La Pulga, simply put. It is believed that Donatello's words about South American qualifiers did not sit well with both Ney and Lionel Messi. Check it, Kylian Mbappe sparked fury amongst his two teammates when he was claiming that the South American international competition was weaker than it is in Europe. The comments even went as far as angering Brazil boss Tite who responded that they did not have to play Azerbaijan to qualify for the World Cup. While none of Mbappe's PSG teammates have issued a similar response, the comments went down very badly within the locker room. At this rate, don't be surprised if both Mbappe and Ney put up astronomical numbers and have a shot at winning the Ballon d'Or for the first time next year. It's looking good and they are clearly both pacing very well. What do you think of the possibility of both Neymar and Mbappe contending for next year's Ballon d'Or? Do you have a favorite? We'll read you in the comments. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.